Hey guys, I hope you're having a beautiful day. I am out here with Ray, previously known as Ronnie, just having some alone time with her. She's really become one of my favorite dogs. I'm just so proud of her. Um, this was a dog that I, I must say, I'm very proud of the Asher House. I am, I am not, all, I don't ever say this. I don't think you've ever heard me say this before in my life. I'm proud of myself. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, I, you, it's very hard for me to, to even think that way, but I'm proud of myself for taking a chance on her. She was at the Tacoma Humane Society for quite a while. I believe it was four months and um, they just could not get a rescue to take her in. And the reason is, is because they also, sorry, there's wasps everywhere. So if I'm a little bit jumpy, even if it's a fly or a bug, I'm gonna get spooked. I've been getting stung by these yellow jackets. It's, it's terrible. They're very aggressive. Anyway, sorry. So um, she, she could not, they, she, they were not able to get her rescued. A, they weren't allowed to adopt her out. So she was unadoptable. The reason being is because her and another dog, an Anatolian Shepherd, got loose. And when they were found, they were found near um, a deceased dog, a smaller dog, a deceased dog. So the assumption was that Ray here and this other Anatolian Shepherd had unfortunately killed this dog. Now, that's why what I'm about to tell you, it, it's so important when a dog goes to an animal shelter that the animal shelter is getting the right information and accurate information because whatever they get, you know, they can't ask the dog or the cat what happened. They have to take the human's word for it. But what also was really sad was the consequences of what happened to Ray. Now this Anatolian Shepherd, I guess it was this big, beautiful, purebred Anatolian Shepherd. It got rescued out to an Anatolian Shepherd rescue almost immediately but no one really wanted to take a chance on Ray here. Um, uh, obviously all black German Shepherd, maybe she looked intimidating, but of course her story of, they said basically that she killed this dog, um, stopped people from, stopped rescues from being able to get her, from wanting to take her in, taking that chance on her, uh, which I totally understand. You don't want to put your dogs at risk or, or anyone at risk. It, it, it's. It is a chance. There was something about her though. When I, when I met Ray, previously Ronnie, I, I, I could really see her soul. Um, there was something about her that I fell in love with. She seemed so innocent to me. She, she was and is so innocent. Tacoma, their staff, I've said this before, in my opinion, the best staff ever, 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 ever. I mean, when it comes to an animal shelter, I've never seen anyone like it. They really were vouching for her. They really wanted her to not spend the rest of her life in a shelter. They really did not want to put her down. She, she was a good dog. She did good in play groups. And um, because of my trust with them, I believed them. And now she's here. And although she is quite shy, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll never really see her playing with many of the dogs. She likes to kind of keep her distance. But she definitely has stolen my heart. You know, I've always felt misunderstood. I've, I've, I've discussed that with you guys before. And Ray here is just such a prime example of, of what it's like to be misunderstood and, and outcasted, really. She, she is such a special dog. Um, I can't say for sure if she will be a sanctuary dog forever. Uh, if, if I ever felt that she would be happier with someone else or, or maybe a quieter home, then I wouldn't take that away from her if it was the perfect place for her. But I often like to take her, not as often as I would like. As soon as I said that, I felt a little bit of guilt. I'm gonna do it more often, but I, I really enjoy my alone time with her. She, she gets a little bit nervous around the barking and the chaos. She, she really loves the water and when all the dogs are around, she'll barely go in. And when it's just me and her, you could really see her for who she really is, which is just such a special, sweet, innocent, loving dog. Um, you know, I, I'm really seeing at these shelters, I, there's so many German Shepherds. There are so many German Shepherds. Usually it's always pit bulls and German Shepherds and Huskies, and those are still the top three. But right now, my goodness, so many German Shepherds. 
and they're just such amazing dogs. You know, they need, all dogs need work. There's not a dog that it doesn't take work, doesn't take some training, activities outside, things like that. But to me, they're just wonderful. If you've never been able to meet him, if you've ever been able to meet him or seen his videos, my beloved Tony Two-Toned, um, not many dogs had, had my heart the way he did and still does that he took a portion of it with him when he left us. But we have taken in quite a few German Shepherds that you've either met or depending on when you watch this video, you'll meet along the way. And Ray here is just, the reason I named her Ray is because she's just a ray of sunshine to me. And I, I love her so much. Uh, blackberry? I don't know if you like blackberries, you want one? No? I'll eat this one. Yum, yum, yum. It's good, Ray. You're missing out. These are good ones.